everybody. I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on what I call a collector car video. You say, Tone, collector car video, like what do you, wh how do you decide what's a collector car video? Like what's the difference between a video, a cool video, a fast video, a collector car video? That's a really good question. Thank you so much for asking and I'm going to share that with you. I have my assistant over here, Mr. Steele, who's going to help walk us through this a little bit. He doesn't say a lot, but uh, he is a nice boy. Anyway, uh, so a collector car car, right? Collector cars to me mean low mileage, very original, last year made, right? Surviving uh, years and years, it's 2023 that we're doing this video and we're approaching the 40 year mark of this car and to have a car with 39,000 original miles on it driven like less than a thousand miles a year, right around a thousand miles a year, right? Uh, is to me amazing. I'm not sure that I could take care of this car uh, as well as it's been taken care of. It is, it is as beautiful under the lights as it is in person, and it's amazing. We're gonna look at some stuff and uh, see some authenticity. We're gonna see some things that you could change if you wanted to, and then you could also think about how to get it in your garage this weekend. All right, so some of the things that you could do, for instance, some people like the white letter tires, right? This happens to have a fresh set of BFG radial TAs and on the inside are white letters. So if you wanted to, we could flip those around uh, and put them out if you want to. Just a, just a comment, right? Just a comment that says, hey, uh, oh, I didn't know you could do that. Well, you can do that, all right? Secondly, I think that we need to look at the quality of paint. The, the reason I bring that up is because photos can make cars look whatever they want them to be, right? There's, there's just things that can be done out there that I don't, I don't necessarily like what gets done out there, but I can't fight all those people. Here, we do the video for a reason, because the video is the video. The video can't lie. It, when I say, let's look at how clear the letters are in the paint, uh, I'm saying to you, let's look at the letters in the paint, look at the ceiling, you can see every beam in there. That, to me, is serious paint. Let's do that right now, all right? So when you come on up here, and I say mirror finish, see how clear everything is in there. It looks like a mirror. Look at the ceiling above. You can see the beams, the lights, the, the unfortunately my face in there wrecking the video, but whatever, I just happen to be in it. So it is what it is. My point is this, is that when you have paint this nice, when you go to a car show, when you go out at night in this car, it is like a, a black diamond glowing in the night. It just looks really, really good. And hence why these really were the pioneers of blacking out or murdering out a car, right? This murdered out term is only about 10 years old here, but it's also, uh, uh, this was happening a long time ago. Black bumpers, black trim, black windshield molding, right? Like all of these things all blacked out. It's a cool piece. All right, so in the world of collectability, there are Grand Nationals and there are collector grade Grand Nationals, right? So in this case that we're talking about in this car here, we have a low mileage car, uh, with super rare with the sunroof in it, and really bone stock, right? The way it rolled off the showroom floor, which is really the way you want it. And I wanted to point out a few things under here. You may not care to go to a car show uh, and do this, but for instance, like, a lot of the original decals and stickers and things like that are still here uh, approaching 40 years later, which is amazing that uh, we're doing this video in 2023 and we're getting so close. So for instance, like this yellow decal here about watching your fans, the uh, uh, air cooler uh, decal with the numbers are still on it. The accessory belt routing decal is still here. These are original. We didn't put these on, right? These are original style decals. The barcode scanner for the uh, master cylinder is still there. The original dipstick, oil filler tubes, like all of this little stuff you may not see as a big deal, but for me, I'm a history guy. I love the idea of this. The hood light is unplugged because the person liked to show this off and the light would go on and would kill the battery. So that's uh, one of the reasons they do that so that they can go to a car show, leave it open for hours and hours and not worry about that. Uh, over here is our original emissions decals, uh, all the same place, showing the turbo decals. The turbo housing is still here in its place. This is like a cool piece of history, you guys. This is uh, even the oil filter. Uh, has a cooler built in there so that you can, uh, these are high performance cars. They were faster than a Corvette. They respond to modifications really, really well. And when you have something as original as this and you're proud to show it off, I just think it adds a whole nother level of collectability. 
All right, so back here. So back to my original murdered out statement, right? From the black spoiler that's here to the black molding. Uh, this decal can come off if you don't like that, but uh, black bumper, bumper guards, right? This is a cool, most people who, who know these cars uh, know that they are this. And uh, if you're into cars, you automatically know what this car is. This is a way to see how much somebody loved the car by this right here. And I want to show you why. This is cool. In here is the original decal of options on the car from the factory, right? Original jacking instructions in here. This is believed to be the original floor mats for the car. They're a little dirtier than the, than the brand new set that's in there. I don't know for sure if they are or not, but it's believed to be. The original spare tire is here, okay? He wanted to upgrade the stereo system, so he kept the original speakers here, okay? Here's a Buick Grand National model. Here's a Buick Grand National kind of street rod in here as well. A front tag for you already so you can get started, okay? This to me is a collector car. All of this stuff, someone's preserved it. They've really put a lot of time into taking care of it. And uh, when you drive these, you'll understand why they're so good. All right, so you're walking up to your mean machine, right? Your collector car, your Buick Grand National, right? Uh, with the call outs on the hood. I gotta tell you what, man, if you like cars at all, everybody knows what this car is because it's legendary. And I'll tell you why it's legendary, because it's a modern muscle car. You say, well, Tom, what's a modern muscle car mean? What does that mean? Well, it means that, that not only is it fast, uh, but the inside is so nice. Let's get in there for a second and see some of the uh, effort that Buick puts into a car. So Buick was one of the premium makers of cars, right? For GM, you moved your way up from Chevrolet, Pontiac, and you kept moving your way up to, to Buick uh, once you got there. And the last in line would be the Cadillac, and Cadillac didn't really make a performance car like this. I get excited because I've owned several of these things and they're just, look how much room there is. First off, it's great driving. Second, uh, this one here in particular has so many options on it. They didn't come with these options. They came just as a, as a you know, like a standard Regal. Uh, and then you would add everything. So this car has uh, cruise control. This car has power windows. It has power locks. Uh, it has uh, uh, some visitors in here as well. This is ultra rare right here. This has a power sunroof, right? A power sunroof here. Look at that. How cool is that? Factory sunroof, super rare. Um, air conditioning, turbo boost gauge. You know, with all those options, the power sunroof, the cruise control, the power windows, the power locks, this upgraded sound system, the beautiful interior, it's comfortable, right? You can just, you can go for a ride. You could go to the beach in this car. You go to the, to the, to the shore. You could go to the mountains. You could go wherever you want because this is a long distance traveler. It has overdrive automatic, makes a ton of power, right? And just easy, easy driving. This is the kind of car that uh, says, wow, collector car. All right, so let's close up this video and I'm gonna go back to the collector car statement that I talked about earlier. And that is, this is a last year car. These cars are legendary. They continue to go up. This is one of those blue chip investments. You know, I can't predict the future, but these cars have continued to outpace the market year in, year out, corrections, all that stuff. Uh, and super low models like this one here that are very original. And not to mention loaded with options. Again, you could get roll up windows, you could get manual locks, you could get all of that stuff. Here we have like the Concert 2 sound system, we have a power sunroof, we have uh, powered locks, power windows, cruise control, tilt wheel. I'm not sure if this doesn't have every single option you could get. I don't know that to be a fact. I'd have to study that just a little bit more. But my point is this is that it's loaded with options and uh, low mileage, super rare and gorgeous, right? Not to mention fast, you hit second gear, these will chirp second gear from the factory, which was amazing that they did that stuff, and they were faster than a Corvette, that's the word on the street, not that I would know that for sure, certain, but they say that it is. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000, we'll tell you all about this. 
amazing Grand National. It just is. If you've never driven one, man, you got to own one in your lifetime. You got to own one. And so now I just ask you to share uh, this with some friends. If you don't uh, mind doing that, hit the like button down below there too. It gets our message out. I appreciate when you do that. I really do. And subscribe to the channel. We get new stuff coming out all the time. And I'll see you on the next one.